Washington has deployed two aircraft carriers and fighter jets to the region during the war. And it's reportedly moving more warships from the Arabian Gulf to the Gulf of Aden to deter Houthi attacks on the Red Sea. Alex Gatopoulos takes a look at the U.S. military assets in the region. The military aid and support Israel's received from the United States has been massive, giving it free reign as it tries to destroy Hamas. The United States dispatched two aircraft carrier strike groups at the start of the conflict. The USS Ford, the world's most advanced aircraft carrier and the largest warship ever built, is currently in the eastern Mediterranean along with its support fleet. The USS Eisenhower is on patrol in the Gulf, its massive complement of fighter jets reinforcing the air and naval assets in the region. A U.S. Marine Expeditionary Unit is sailing off the coast of Yemen, acting as a base and mobile headquarters for an assortment of high-level special forces from the U.S. Navy and Air Force, coordinating regional intelligence gathering. And Poseidon Naval Surveillance Aircraft and high-tech Global Hawk spy drones have been flying off the coast of Gaza, gathering information on Hamas and its regional supporters. The U.S. has ringed the Middle East with fleets of ships, aircraft, submarines and drones. This is in addition to the U.S. Air Force sending jets to Jordan and the colossal military assets already in place in Bahrain, Qatar, Kuwait and the UAE. American military aid has allowed Israel to continue its wholesale destruction of Gaza unhindered, ensuring that Hamas's allies are suitably intimidated and deterred from taking any military action.